Hello friends. Now, in this chapter, we will discuss the excretory system that is the kidneys in detail. So, let us learn about the human excretory system. Now, the human excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys as you can see in the diagram. Now, kidneys are the chief excretory organs as we discussed earlier. Going further, we have a pair of ureters. Now, ureters are the tubes that originate from the kidney which carry urine. Then, we have a single muscular urinary bladder. Now, urinary bladder is a small bag-like organ that stores urine. And finally, we have a urethra to expel out urine which is a small pipe-like organ. So, in the excretory system, we have a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Now, let us see them one by one. Starting with kidneys, kidneys are two bean-shaped organs. As you can see in the figure, they are bean-shaped. But biologically, this shape is called as reniform shape. So, we say that kidneys are reniform in shape. Now, both the kidneys are about 10 centimeters in length and about 6 centimeters wide. Now, let us see what is the location of the kidney. The kidneys are located on either side of the backbone and they are protected by the last two ribs. As you can see in the figure here, one kidney on the right side of the backbone and another kidney on the left side of the backbone and they are protected by the last two ribs. One more very important thing we need to know is that the right kidney is at a slightly lower level than the left one. When we see the position of the kidney, the right kidney is slightly lower as compared to the left kidney. Now going further, a tube called as the ureter arises from the notch of each kidney and enters the urinary bladder. The notch is called as the hilum. So here, so here you can see the ureters arising from the hilum of the kidney and now both the ureters will enter into the urinary bladder. Now the ureters, they carry urine and the urine is stored for a temporary period in the urinary bladder. And finally, the front end of the ureter is expanded and it is called as the pelvis. And finally, the urine is emptied out of the body through the urethra. Now, the urine which is produced in the kidneys constantly flows through the ureters and collects in the urinary bladder. So, you can see the urine getting formed in the kidneys and through the ureters, it gets collected in the urinary bladder. Now, the openings of the ureters into the bladder are somewhat projecting as you can see in the figure and therefore, they act like valves to prevent the backflow of urine. That is, the ureter opening is located in such a way that once the urine enters the urinary bladder, it cannot flow back into the ureter. So, they prevent like, so they act like valves to prevent the backflow of urine. Now, the urine is intermittently emptied from the urinary bladder to the outside of the body through the tube called as the urethra. Intermittently meaning at regular intervals. So, the urine is emptied out of the body through the urethra. Now, the opening of the bladder into the urethra is guarded or it is controlled by a muscle called as the sphincter muscle. The sphincter muscle is a circular muscle which guards the opening of the urethra into the bladder. Now, the urethra relaxes, the sphincter muscle relaxes only at the time of micturition under an impulse from the brain. Micturition means the process of urination and impulse means a signal. So, once the bladder is full, 
it sends a signal to the brain and in response to that signal the brain gives answer and we feel the desire to pass urine and this process is called as micturition the process of emptying the urine from the bladder now let us move on to study the internal structure of the kidney now internally that is the longitudinal section of the kidney shows two main regions the outer region which is called as the cortex and the inner region is called as the medulla so you can see in the diagram the outer region is the cortex and the inner region the triangular region is called as the medulla now the medulla is composed of highly striped substances which are arranged in conical pyramids you can see the triangular structures and in that you can see striped substances striped meaning having striations or stripes so you can see the conical pyramids the apex of each pyramid that is a tip of each pyramid it projects into the pelvis region of the kidney going further the renal artery carries blood to be filtered into the kidneys the artery that carries blood to be filtered into the kidneys is called as the renal artery and the renal vein leaves the kidneys carrying the filtered blood after the blood is filtered it is brought back from the kidney by the vein which is called as the renal vein and finally we have the ureter which carries the urine from the kidney